what customizations have I done to my Model 3, and what accessories do I actually use for my car. Keep watching. Hi, I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I document my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new and future owners learn more about this car. If you find this video helpful and informative, please consider subscribing. A few weeks ago, I shared with you the new Tesla Model 3 floor mats that I have been using and I've been super pleased with. To follow up on that video, I thought I'd do a walk around of my car, sharing with you guys the customizations and accessories that I have been using in the last year. Let's start with the exterior. Now, you may say, hey, you are not doing anything special with the exterior because you still have the original paint. And my paint, by the way, is the now discontinued silver metallic color. I picked this color because I thought this car looked like a starship, being a Star Wars and Star Trek fan. Make it so. I did not want to wrap this car due to the cost, and also I really love this color, and I wanted to keep the car looking as original as possible. So all the customizations that I have done are really, really subtle, and most of it is for the interior. First, you may notice that my windows are tinted. I have always tinted my windows living here in Southern California because it get quite hot during summertime. The tint that I have is medium tint and these are nano ceramic tint. You really do feel the difference as soon as the tint is put up because you no longer feel the burn <laughs> on your arms when you're driving. So I highly recommend that you tint your windows if you've been thinking about it. Next, I have also wrapped my door handles. Again, I did not do chrome delete because I wanted my car to look like a spaceship, a shiny spaceship, if you will. So I am not too big into chrome delete, although I have debated about it. But what I found was the set of door handle protection that I got from RPM Tesla, and I'm linking all the product down below, to minimize the fingerprints on that chrome door handle. And this also makes a door handle less hot to touch during summer days. Now, I don't have any paint protection film installed on my car. I don't have clear bra in the front because I believe that this car is actually to protect me instead of me babying this car. That's just my philosophy. However, I am not extremely careless as to not protect my car in some degrees. Also from RPM Tesla, I found this luggage protector that I installed right at the opening of the trunk. So if I need to haul heavy stuff and I accidentally drag it into my trunk, it's not going to scrape off my paint. All of these, by the way, I installed them myself. All the vendors out there that I purchased these items from, they do have installation videos available on their website. So it's super easy to do. If I can do it, so can you. The last exterior accessory I like to share with you guys and I actually don't recommend that you get this one, is the noise reduction seal. I bought this seal off of Amazon to seal off the front glass roof because people claimed that is where the wind noise comes from. But after I installed it, it's been several months, I have not noticed any difference. But I'm keeping this on, why? Because I found that it fills that gap and it makes the top really easy to clean. So when you have debris that gets caught in that little crease area with this ring around, it makes it a lot easier to clean. So I'm keeping it for that purpose. Now let's open the doors and start moving inside. Before we move inside, I also installed a set of door seal protectors, also from RPM Tesla. I have installed a set to protect the Model 3 emblem right at the front driver and the passenger side. And in the back side, because kids, they like to step on a door seal before they hop 
out of the car. I also installed the rear passenger door seal protectors for long-term wear and tear protection. While the door is open, let me show you the cool puddle lights that I installed. I got these from Abstract Ocean. And again, they're super easy to do. I did all of these myself by watching their installation video on the products page. For the front, I installed the very simple and minimalistic Tesla logo. And then in the back, I did the number three. And it's just something fun for me to personalize my car a little further. So at night, when I open the doors, you see these cool puddle lights coming out. By the way, when you order these from Abstract Ocean, use my promo code TeslaJoy when you check out and you will get 15% off your first purchase. Now let's move inside. The first thing I would like to share with you is actually the wireless charging pads that I did a DIY project on, which was my very, very first video on this channel, how this whole Tesla Joy channel started. I'm linking the video here that you can watch. Just be warned, it is a terrible video because it was my very first time making videos. But I do show you how you can make wireless charging pads for your Tesla for cheap. So check it out. The most obvious customization that I've done to my car is the center console wrap. I did this right after I got my car because I did not like that piano black lacquer thing. It attracted a lot of fingerprints and dusts. So pretty much within one month after I got my Model 3, I wrapped it in this titanium brush color, which I have been super happy with. It matches with my dashboard color. It gives me a really seamless look. And it also gives me sort of a futuristic spaceship feel. Moving along, if you have watched my five things I dislike about my Tesla Model 3 video. One of the dislikes I had was that the door opening button from the inside is really confusing to my passengers. And right after that video, I finally went and bought a set of the decals to put over the door buttons so that now my passengers know to push that button and get out of the car. And again, I got these and also the center console wrap from Abstract Ocean. Now, you may also notice while I was showing you the door button decal that I actually wrapped the door handles as well. I originally did not do this and I did this in the last month or so because the passenger side got scratched. Again, that piano black lacquer is pretty fragile. So I guess maybe my husband was holding his keys one day when he was getting out of the car and scratched the door handle with a sharp object. So I highly recommend if you are just getting your Model 3 or if you're preparing to take delivery, go ahead and buy all the wraps as soon as possible. So when you have your car, you wrap them right away to protect that finish right underneath. These door handle wraps, they are not as easy as the center console and all the other installations. And again, I got this from Abstract Ocean, but they are still pretty fairly easy to do. The whole set, the four doors, took me about 25 to 30 minutes to do. You just need some patience, keep watching the installation video or watch it while you're installing it. Just follow along with the steps and you'll be completely fine. And lastly, the accessory that I wanted to show you is the screen protector for the center display. I have been resisting purchasing this for a long, long time. And I just installed this about two weeks ago. I never thought I needed it because I am very careful about the screen. I never imagined that I would actually bang against it and scratch it or damage the screen. However, because sometimes when I do videos, I have to share what is on the screen and I forget to clean the screen. So when the screen becomes dark in the background, all the fingerprints and dots, they show up really easily, just looks really yucky. 
So I bought this from Abstract Ocean, and this is a clear, not matte. I prefer clear view versus matte view. But this is supposedly fingerprint resistant and super easy to clean. In addition to protecting the screen, I've been using this for the last couple of weeks now, and I've been really, really happy with it. I barely see my fingerprints over my screen anymore. And they wipe off really easily, so I highly recommend this screen protector. Again, I installed everything that I share with you in this video on my own. They're not hard to do. You just need to study the installation steps, have some patience, and you'll be fine. I hope that these accessories and customizations have helped you in deciding what you would like to do. To personalize your car a little bit more, and also to protect your car without breaking the bank. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, give this a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Make comments down below. Ask me questions, or share with us what customizations you've done to your car and accessories that you would recommend. Until next time, have a blessed week.